Welcome to this northern wooded swamp. A cold, quiet place in the winter, but beautiful in its own way. And for so many reasons, Wildlife activity definitely slows way down as winter takes over. Those animals that take on this harsh season must adapt to the frigid tempo and their skills will be tested like never before. The swamp does not attract only those active winter residents. It is also for those who do not seek food or water, but turn to the swamp for its solitude and shelter. autumn, when food became scarce, this black bear, fat from a summer and autumn of feeding, selected a spot within the swamp and began chewing off nearby branches and brush. Once the branches were arranged just so, the bear scraped up dense swamp grasses and leaves. When satisfied, it settled upon the mass removing and adding material until it was just right, eventually forming a black bear ground nest. At this stage, the bear had already stopped eating. No more fruit, nuts, insects, green plants, or meat. Not only did it stop eating, but it would not take a drink, urinate, or defecate for another six months. Yet it would be far from inactive. Shortly after Christmas, in the dead of winter, this black bear would grace the silent, frozen landscape with four new cubs. Each with their own unique little faces, markings, and color shades. Not to mention, attitudes.
as winter trudges along. Her warm, constant care nurtures the rapidly growing cubs. So for several months, this mother bear confines herself to the ground nest, especially after the cubs are born. There really is no reason for her to leave. No exhausting need to migrate southward, no need to secure food and water, or even worry about a bathroom break. Just cozy up for the winter and raise an active family of four. Now that deserves our respect. So the cubs spend a good deal of time just wrestling around. It looks to be one of their favorite pastimes. Unless mom's paying attention to them. But often, she simply dozes off, or at least tries to.
A New Day in the Swamp reveals the pounding effort it takes for a pileated woodpecker to find food. A few plump juicy grubs are all well worth the effort. Things are much more relaxed in the bear den. as the cub stirs from its furry bed. Mom decides that it is not quite time to wake up. But the cubs have different ideas. They seem to be gearing up for the new day. The drowsy little cub gets smothered again. The resting family gradually comes to life. And for one cub, Mother Bear becomes the center of attention. Remember, she is in hibernation. Her cubs are not. In an evolutionary sense, her state of hibernation is probably the most refined. Her winter body temperature hovers only a few degrees below her normal summer temperature. Thus, her body chemistry remains healthy, allowing her to retain brain function and radiate heat for the cubs cuddled underneath her uninsulated belly. So this mother bear's time is completely dedicated to caring for her cubs. All fueled by a layer of body fat that can be three inches thick. If wrestling cubs are any indication of a strong thriving family, then this one appears to be right on track and moving forward.
as winter threatens to release its icy grip. Changes are right around the corner. Curiosity about the outside world is already a strong driving force for the Cubs. Even though their mother decides that it isn't time yet. This cozy, dry, bear nursery will eventually become unlivable. Meltwater will slowly permeate the low-lying swamp until spring flooding completely finishes the job. But before that happens, Mother Bear will walk away and the cubs will follow. Their new forest home will be waiting for them. With rising temperatures and increasing daylight, the landscape will explode with life, offering all kinds of edibles for the bears. And mother's experience will lead them to the best places. So they can all fatten up for the next winter snooze. The last time I saw the bears was at the end of March. As I walked into the swamp, I could see that the cubs were alone. Warmer weather was already teasing, but snow still covered the ground. Mother Bear was about 75 yards away, tearing into an old rotting log when she spotted me. She burst into running making a beeline for the ground nest. She crawled in and cuddled her cubs. The last sound I remember was the cubs' little feeding engines chattering while mom nursed them. bellies were followed with a nap. <laughs>